helps. Hey, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 2144 of What Chip to Now. A stitch in time saves nine. So let's go ahead and set some goals for 2024. Uh, we are talking about as part of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. This year's annual challenge was all about goal setting. We worked on our goals. We broke it down into the nine life framework areas that I use, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, communication, and confidence. And we're doing the same thing for 2024. I think I'd be remiss if I didn't share the process that I'm using to set my goals for 2024 and do it over the next nine days, reach the different nine areas and aspects of our life and share what I'm actually doing and what I actually do at the end of every year to make sure I'm set up for success in the following year. So 2023, last month we reviewed our processes, what we talked about. We spent entire months on each of these different areas of the life framework and goal setting topics with respect to that area. So uh, for example, in October, we talked about the area of, I think contribution, I, I better not say that. I think it was contribution though. And we thought about, well, how are we going to contribute to the world? What kind of a legacy do we want to leave? How do we make the world a better place? Topics like that, as well as we use the SOAP framework and our seven step goal process. Well, the goal process that I'm using for setting my 2020 four goals is slightly different. And so I shared that process as part of the challenge. And we're going to then apply that process over the next nine days for each of the different areas and aspects of our life. So in the next 10 days, we have, will have created the framework for success for us for 2024. So we'll do, you know, our physical goals, our mental, emotional, spiritual, all those different nine areas. So we'll have at least three goals in each of those areas for 2024. And I, I say at least three goals. I usually like to have one primary goal in each area and aspect of my life. And if I can combine a couple areas, that's good because I have found that the more goals we have set for ourselves, the less likely we are to achieve them because we only have so much energy, so much ener attention, and so much ability to focus on multiple things, right, simultaneously. That's why I like to automate as many things as I possibly can and put habits in place to make sure that I'm moving forward toward what I want all the time throughout the year, basically automatically, so I don't actually have to think about, okay, well, what is my mindset goal this month and this year, and am I doing everything I need to do? Well, if I set a bunch of those mindset things on autopilot, by doing meditations, by doing hypnosis, by doing affirmations, by visualizing different things. If I make those tools automatic, then my goals become, and achieving them becomes automatic as well. So we talked about an eight-step process for setting our goals for next year. We're going to go through that over the next nine days for each of those different areas and aspects of our life. Our idiom today was a stitch in time saves nine. And we just happen to have nine different areas in our life framework. <laughs> I guess it's just a coincidence. Uh, but that idiom, of course, means deal with something when it's small and fix and repair a small problem before it becomes a huge problem or a bigger problem that takes more time and energy and resources to fix. And so we talked about how does that apply to growing and building and supersizing our business and how can we use that to make sure that we're putting automations and systems and things in place so we don't have defects we don't disappoint people so we do what we say we're going to do so we do things right the first time and things like that so that's what i'm working on today over the next nine days i am going to and today i'm going through the process with the great big huge big hairy audacious goal purpose in mind to say okay what is the number one thing I want to make sure the number one goal and the thing I want to make sure I accomplish next year. I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to go through my eight step process and I'll know what it is by the end of the day. And then tomorrow we will, we'll hop right into our physical well being, our physical health, physical, and we will uh, set goals for that. And I say we do, we go through the process and we then narrow it down to three. I like to have three or less just because, you know, it's a lot of goals. 27 goals is a lot for a year. Uh, and again, that's why. When I'm done with the whole process, I spend usually a day or two and I will actually ruminate on my personal goals until the end of the year. That's part of why I want to do this and part of why I do it in December every year is I set the goals and then I think about them. It's like I don't have an annual challenge for next year. I don't even know if I'm going to do an annual challenge next year, but I start thinking about it usually in September, October, and then I think about it and I get some ideas and I throw them out and analyze them and usually it's like 
December 30th or December 31st when I actually decide and commit to myself if I'm going to do an annual challenge and then what the topic is going to be. Uh, I have to thank Chad Hanna, a, a friend of mine that I did actually one of the very first annual challenges with in a group. Uh, we were practicing doing live video, live Facebook, Facebook live videos. And some of us lost access to our Facebook accounts during that annual challenge and had to find ways to make our videos and post them every day on YouTube or other platforms because we couldn't do them on Facebook. So that learned a lot in that challenge. And of course, when you go through a big challenge like that, you make lifelong acquaintances and friends. And Chad is the one that gave me the idea of a goals challenge for 2023. So I wonder if he'll send me another idea. <laughs> All right. If I can help you anyway, ask. You can always box for me at pajamagramma at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have a great day.